Good morning YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Today we're continuing our ride from Zurich all the way up to the northern part of Switzerland to Schaffhausen following the Grand Tour of Switzerland. Today I'm accompanied by Hayley hi. Hi. and her MT-09. Hold on tight and enjoy the ride. Sorry guys, I had a problem with my GoPro, so again, like last video, I didn't record any sound, so I'm gonna, gonna do some voiceovers. We finally left the highway after 30-40 km, kilometers, and now we are driving towards Machtalen, which is known for its small, cute little buildings, Riegelhauser, which are very known for the region. And we're at the moment also driving to the wine region of the northern part of Switzerland. As you can see on our left and our right, you see these typical houses which the region is known for. A lot of those small towns have these very nice buildings, so if you're in the region, really check out those small villages and pay them a visit, because it's really nice to drive through, very cozy. As you can see, we found our way back on the Grand Tour of Switzerland. After we left the highway, there were a lot of signs on the road again. And we left the region of Machtalen with also the villages of Adolfingen and Eglisau. We are now driving towards the Rheinfälle, which are the biggest waterfalls of Europe, which we are going to pay a visit today. The Rheinfälle create the river Rhine, which flows through Switzerland, Germany, France, all the way up to the ocean. The Rheinfälle have a height of 23 meters and a width of 150 meters. On both sides there are some viewing platforms and you can also um, drive the boat to the middle of the waterfall and hike up a little viewing point over there. We now arrived at the Rheinfälle at the southern part of the waterfalls. 
and if you like to go on the viewing platforms which you are seeing right now you have to pay a small fee of 5 francs to go through the gates it's a very nice way down and you can almost stand next to the waterfall at the bottom down below there I, didn't know, I don't know if you saw it but on the small island in the middle you can do a short hike if you go there by boat. The boat is also a separate fee up uh, next to those five francs which I told you about before. Down at the Rheinfall there is also the first Grand Tour of Switzerland sign of today's Etappe. So if you want to make a photo over here you have to pay these 5 francs and it's worth, worth the bucks. Because as you can see down here below the viewpoints are way better than all the way up there where you can barely see the waterfalls. The other side of the waterfalls, the northern parts, are free to visit. As you can see, it's quite an impressive waterfall which you can stand next to. It travels a lot of water with an immense power through these waterfalls. It's also crazy. In this shot you're probably gonna see the boats driving upstream towards the viewing point over there in the middle. So let's take a look at the map. This morning we left in Zurich at the middle northern part of Switzerland and we drove all the way up to the northern border of Switzerland to Schaffhausen where we are right now. And we're continuing our ride from Schaffhausen to Kreuzlingen, following the river Rhein all the way to the lake of Konstanz or the Bodensee, where we're gonna end today's ride. So at the Rheinfälle there are enough motorcycle and car parking spots. It was not crowded, but and we went during a weekend day, so we went early in the morning on a Saturday and it was all fine, not too crowded and as you can see the weather was just perfect. Now we're heading towards Kreuzlingen, which is another 70 to 80 kilometers. If you are interested in luxury watches, on our left you see the museum of the IWC watch company. So pay them a visit as well if you're into watches and nearby or passing through like us. It is too bad that we don't have any sound recorded because Haley's MT-09 with this Aquapovich slip-on sounds amazing. It's really cool to ride out with her and we are having a blast so far. Now crossing the river Rhine and we're driving towards the right side and the river the Rhine on our left side is flowing towards those Rhine fellas. So all the water we are passing is going to these waterfalls. If you are not having the luxury option like us traveling through Switzerland on your motorcycle or by car, the public transport is great as well. So if you want to visit all of those locations we are visiting, you can also do it by public transport and the Rheinfälle have their own train station as well, right next to the waterfalls. 
Now we arrived at the village or city of Stein am Rhein, which is our last city before our stop in Kreuzlingen. The city center of Stein am Rhein is very beautiful as well. You will see a little bit of the city center uh, in, the moment, in a few seconds, which has these typical paintings on the walls. All over Switzerland and bigger cities you see these paintings. I really like them. And it's really worth the visit if you drive through Stein am Rhein to get off your bike, get out of your car and check out this city center. the Untersee or the lower part of the Bodensee. The Bodensee consists of two parts, the upper part and the lower part. And at Kreuzlingen, where is our stop for today, there is a narrow part, already a part of the River Rhein, which separates the two lakes. The Bodensee is also one of the bigger lakes in Switzerland. But like I said before in my last video, the Lake of Geneva is even bigger. The other side of the lake, the Untersee, is actually Germany. So today we are seeing two countries. We are driving through Switzerland and on the other side of the lake we have Germany. But we will not drive into Germany because we are doing the Grand Tour of Switzerland and not doing the Grand Tour of Germany. Today's ride is pretty straightforward. 50 to 80 km per, per hour roads. Not a lot of twists, not a lot of action, only cute little towns, nice lake views. So if you want to ride mountain passes, drive uh, some action, then this is not the etape you want to ride. If you're into architecture and into the more typical part of Switzerland, as you can see with these houses again, this is the road for you. Over here on our left you can park your car or your motorcycle and take the boat over the Untersee or take the ferry across all the way towards Germany. Kreuzlingen. These are the last couple of kilometers on this route. I'm now doing a voiceover with me talking, which is pretty weird. But I took the effort to end the video and I wanted to show you that. 
I am standing next to the Oberon Sea of the Lake Constant or the Bowden Sea. I want to thank you all for watching. I would really appreciate it if you would leave me a like and a comment down below. And if you want to see more of this round tour of Switzerland or me driving through Switzerland on my Husqvarna 401 or Haley on our MT-09, make sure you subscribe to the channel. See you next video!